you mentioned AI and agents earlier. Beyond sovereignty, how do you see open source is helping Europe stay competitive in areas like AI, cloud, or cybersecurity, where global players are already so dominant? Well, I frankly, to be blunt, I frankly believe open source is the only way Europe can gain competitiveness in the AI space and in the broader technology space. By building on the existing building blocks, growing its influence on those by sweat equity, so direct contribution, and of course, funding. And based on that, being able to create, again, this commercial ecosystem that it's local, that it's vibrant, that it's lively, and that delivers to those goals of digital sovereignty. You know, I go back to some of these initiatives out there that are pushing for digital sovereignty. They talk about buy European, and that's perfectly fine uh, to buy European, as long as that European software is open, you know, it's based on open source and it's based on global open source. If you are going to, again, reinvent the wheel, uh, that's not going to get uh, any any better any soon in terms of sort of the geopolitical technology balance. And I think the the we're seeing the science um, actually not just in Europe. Uh, you know, one year ago, we were all talking about large language models uh, as the sort of race and competitive differentiator. It's become pretty clear now the large language models will be commoditized. Every, you know, since DeepSeek and the DeepSeek moment, every large organization has open source their models, even OpenAI open source their GPT 5 uh, based models. So the competition is no longer going to be on uh, uh, the models. Uh, can argue whether it's going to be on the agents and, and what's built on top of these models. But my point here is that as large language models are commoditized, uh, basically DeepSeek showed us that open source brings back the competitiveness, the, the race to ingenuity, to scarcity. DeepSeek came out of, you know, scarcity compared to the sort of Silicon Valley, you know, CSP, uh, uh, GPU heavy sort of capital investments. And so I think that's the model that Europe should really embrace. Uh, base yourself on open source, base yourself on global open source and put the resources where it matters, where it matters to grow this ecosystem and grow your, you know, technology autonomy.